Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your bonus reading. Um, this reading is timeless, so whenever it finds you, whenever you find it is when it's meant to find you. Um, Scorpio, I'm getting something here about a hunchback. Okay, some of you like sit up. Okay, I don't know if you guys are dealing with somebody with a hunchback. Some of you guys, this person could be an Aquarius. I feel like Scorpio, some of you guys could be feeling like spoiling somebody. I feel like you're in the spoiling mood, like to spoil somebody that you're either taking care of or somebody that you're with or somebody that you're interested in. Or this could be your friends. I feel like you're just feeling like giving. It just feels like Christmas. I, I don't know. It just feels like that. What you got for Scorpio? Okay, we, th we got the Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are in a very giving mood. Okay, you're just wanting to give to somebody. Uh, this is being generous towards someone. For some of this could be a Taurus. Six of Cups. Someone could be, be Someone could be feeling generous towards you as well. Six of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Some of you guys may find out that someone's gay. I don't know if you're interested in them. Uh, you may find out that someone that uh, is the same gender as you is gay and that they like you. Uh, that, is, that doesn't have to mean that you're interested in them, but you may find that out. I feel like it's a Freudian slip, like someone kind of lets it slip. You know, someone kind of lets something slip. I'm also getting this is like a birthday present, like someone lets it slip what they got for somebody else. Okay, Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles. What is this for? Um, some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancer. What is this for Scorpio? I also feel like Scorpio, someone here could be coming back in for a second chance. And I feel like you're leaving somebody out in the cold. I feel like you're saying no to this person. This could be a Gemini. could be a Libra as well. Uh, I feel like you're saying no to second chances. I feel like you've given them, like, I feel like you, you know, this is time to put your foot down. I feel like enough is enough. Like you, you've let them come in so many times. I feel like you're shutting the door on somebody. You're just not answering. Like this is the first time that maybe you're just not answering somebody. Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles. I feel like uh, regarding where you're not answering someone anymore, uh, this feels like a fever dream to this person. Like they cannot believe that you said no to them. Someone cannot believe that you denied them. Someone cannot believe that you shut them out, that you shut the door on them. Um, it, it feels unbelievable to somebody else. Uh, it, it feels like, um, you know, wake me up from this nightmare. That's too bad. Okay, what is this for Scorpio? Some of you guys, I'm getting uh, going to the jewelers. So I don't know if you guys are... Um, getting jewelry getting things fixed going to the jewelers buying jewelry um shining your jewelry i'm hearing someone takes after their father someone takes after their daddy i don't know some kid takes after their daddy okay some kid takes after their father the father six of cups five of pentacles for some of y'all uh someone here does have a favorite child like you know how a, a mother gets asked to choose oh what, who's your favorite kid and of course, the mother's supposed to say, like, I don't got a favorite kid. I love all of y'all equally. I feel like it's very clear who's the favorite here. For some of you guys, you could be a daddy's little girl or daddy's little boy. Okay, you guys are the favorite. I feel like uh, you're the favorite child, and that's why you get spoiled. Some of you guys could be the youngest in a group. Like, you could be the youngest woman in a group of boys or the youngest man in a group of women. Okay, the in a group of, like, uh, uh, sisters or a group of brothers. I feel like uh, someone here gets special treatment. Okay, and rightfully so. I feel like this person deserves it. Okay, I feel like uh, for some of you guys, this could be someone younger that you're just giving a lot of attention to, and they deserve it. It kind of feels like someone here needs extra care and attention anyways with the Six of Cups. What is this for? Um, for some of you, this could be a Virgo. This could be a Virgo child. Uh, this child might be a savant, okay? Someone here may be extremely intelligent. Uh, some child is, like, super smart, like, very gifted for their age. Like, they are a savant, Okay. Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be working on an old beater, okay? A car that don't work no more and got no no transmission, no nothing. I feel like you, you flipping something. I don't know if you guys flip houses or you're just, you're working on uh, something that has a lot of issues. I feel like you, I feel like you take this on though. Like, it's like you take on this, this challenge. You take on this thing that seems worthless to others. And I feel like you make it into something worthwhile. Okay, this is like flipping houses. Like you take a... You take something that don't look like it has potential to be anything and you make it something, I feel like. I feel like somebody here has the ability to turn water into wine. So I kind of feel like someone here is a master manifester. Like someone here can pretty much take any situation and transmute it to what they want. They can turn a nothing into a something, a negative into a positive. It's just, I feel like it's about someone's mentality and it's about their attitude. They're not, they don't stay stuck in the blues. Like if something gets them down, they find a way to do something with it. Like they utilize their time. They don't stay stuck in it. Someone here don't got time to stay stuck in the past. Okay, they move forward. Like, what can I do to change things? How can I fix this? What can I implement? Um, who is this? For uh, for some of this could be a Taurus. I feel like this person don't sit down, they get up. Who is this person for Scorpio? Who is this? For me, guys, this, could, this could be you. Who is this person for Scorpio? Who is this? Uh, Ten of Swords. 
someone here could want to be just like you. I feel like uh, there's some child here that's like admiring you. I'm definitely getting something here about someone younger. Uh, could be a child. There's someone here that admires you. For some of you guys, this person could be a Gemini. I do feel like someone here could be envious of you as well, Scorpio, because of some kind of success that you're achieving. Okay, what else do you got for Scorpio? What else do you have for Scorpio? I see you guys achieving something like a goal. It's like you're reaching something. Uh, what do you got for Scorpio? What else do you got for Scorpio? Okay, we got the Eight of Cups. What is this? For some of y'all, I'm getting forgiveness here with this Eight of Cups. You're forgiving something. You're forgiving something or someone. What's this Eight of Cups here? I feel like you're not going to... Okay, this is like you uh, forgiving and, and letting... Like This is like you forgiving but not forgetting. So like it's kind of like I forgive you, but I, I can't. I got to stay away from you. Like I love you, but I got to stay away from you. So I feel like you're forgiving something, but you're not going to forget what someone said to you or what someone told you or how it made you feel. Um... And I feel like you're forgiving, but it's like you're still removing yourself from a situation. Like, I don't belong here. Some of you guys may receive some kind of information. And it's like, all right, well, you know, it's time for me to pack my bags and go. Like, I, I know where I'm not wanted. Or, you know, I, I know when it's not, I know when something here ain't my battle or when, when it's not worth the fight no more. What is this for Scorpio? I feel like, Scorpio, you're forgiving something and you're also not going to let something bother you anymore. Uh, it's kind of like you're not going to let someone get away with it, but you're also not going to involve yourself in it. So I feel like you're just removing yourself from a situation altogether. What is this for Scorpio? It feels like you receive some kind of information and it kind of makes you backtrack or look at somebody different. Eight of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're forgiving someone, but it's like, I got to let go. Some of you guys, this is like you let, letting go of some kind of dream that you have. This feels like a, some kind of emotional dream that you have. Uh, some of you guys, you may have faced some kind of humiliation or some kind of embarrassment regarding like chasing a dream or going after something. So I feel like you guys decide to let something go. Uh, some of you guys, I'm getting a message. I'm paying attention to this backpack. Some of you guys, I'm getting like backpacking through Europe. Okay. Um, backpacking, van life. Okay. Living in a van, traveling the world. It's like some of you guys are walking away from some sort of dream. It's like you're letting someone else have it. Eight of Cups, the Seven of Wands. What is this for Scorpio? I feel like Scorpio, you guys could be separating from something because you feel like, you know, if it's meant for me, I don't, I shouldn't have to chase it. If it's meant for me, it shouldn't be this hard to obtain or it shouldn't be this hard to keep. Something here should not be this hard to maintain. So I feel like ultimately you're walking away from it. It feels like the situation is not worth it anymore. Like the time, the effort, everything, like, I don't know. It just feels like something is not worth it. So I just feel like you let up. Eight of cups, seven of wands, the page of cups. I also feel like you find something else that you want. So this is you like, um, this is like you letting go of a situation and go chase some kind of dream or chase something else. Eight of cups, seven of wands and the page of cups. I feel like uh, Scorpio, you guys have felt blocked off from a certain pile, uh, from a certain pile. You guys have felt uh, blocked off from a certain path for quite some time. It feels like you're finding out the reason why something has been blocked off for you or why like, it feels like there's a lot of tension here regarding you and a path or you and achieving something. It feels like there's so much tension or like, you know, time after time you keep going after it and you keep getting block after block after block. Uh, what is this for Scorpio? Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands. I feel like you may be finding like the solution to some kind of blockage. What is this for Scorpio? Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's like you, this is you realizing something is not your fight. I feel like you're not going to let something bother you anymore. And I feel like there's someone here that realizes that that you are not going to let something bother you anymore. Someone here cannot reach, like, I feel like you are unreachable to somebody. Somebody cannot access you. They can't talk to you. Or someone here, like, you know, they used to, they used to get a rise out of you. They, they're not going to get that version of you anymore because ultimately you have found some kind of peace or you have stepped out of a situation emotionally. It's like asking someone, like, why aren't they fighting anymore? Or why aren't they, you know, this is like someone here that used to start arguments because they cared and they wanted to fix it. And then them realizing that nothing's going to change. So emotionally they leave before they physically leave. I feel like Scorpio, emotionally you're checked out. I feel like you, you, you've been, you've, you've long checked out. You've been long gone. You left mentally, like maybe physically your body's still here, but mentally you checked out. Emotionally you've been gone. You're, you, you, you're all, you're somewhere in the Netherlands emotionally okay you've been checked out from this situation i feel like you're not getting much out of it it's like i feel like you're seeing what you're getting and it's like i'm not getting what i'm like this is not reciprocal of my energy this is not worth my time i'm sick of this i'm tired of it i'm leaving 
What is this situation for Scorpio? What is this? I see you guys gathering your stuff together, getting up to go. Like it's literally you, like you're getting your bag and you're getting up to walk out. Like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm out. Like, it's like, let's say someone here is giving me the energy of like, you're sitting, you're sitting down, just taking someone's disrespect. And then you finally have that eureka moment. Like, holy shit, I don't have to take this shit. You know what? Fuck this. I'm gone. And you just leave. It's giving me that energy of like, fuck this shit. <laughs> you leave something altogether. You may leave some shit behind. It's like, I don't, I don't want that no more. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that whole, fuck that whole mess. Fuck that whole friend group. Screw all of that. What is this for Scorpio? Five of Swords. I kind of feel like Scorpio, you may go ghost on somebody. I feel like uh, some of you guys could definitely have Libra in your chart. Because for Libra, I was getting someone is discussing their plans with them to go into hiding or to disappear or go ghost. Some of you guys, uh, I feel like you're ghosting a situation altogether. This could be you ghosting an entire group of people. I feel like if you're doing this, you're not letting people know. Like, I feel like you're just walking off stage. Like, this like you being at work and you just leave the job. Like, you don't tell nobody like, hey, I'm about to clock out, whatever. You just straight walk and you keep walking. You don't look back. I feel like that's what you got to do, Scorpio. Just keep walking. I feel like you're going to walk right into some kind of dream. Okay, you're going to walk right into uh, something that you want, something that's more for you. I feel like keep walking and don't explain yourself to nobody. There may be people like shouting at you, okay, demanding of your time, demanding of something, like asking you like Scorpio, where are you going or why are you doing this? They don't got to understand. You don't have to explain yourself to these people. This is between you, yourself, and your spirit guides and God, your ancestors, whoever else you believe in, okay, if you believe in any of that. Um, this this is not between me, Linda, Barbara, J Jimmy, Judith, whatever. It's between me, myself, and I, and God, or whoever, you know? I ain't got to explain myself to nobody. I know it makes sense. And that's all that matters. You walking with God, you walking with spirit. It don't matter. Nothing else matters here. Okay. So I feel like some of you guys are, um, you're saying goodbye. You're getting ready to say goodbye. I feel like you are jumping ship. Definitely y'all could have Libra in your chart or be dealing with the Libra. You could be uh, saying goodbye to somebody. This is, this is like, I feel like uh, Scorpio, it's like meeting somebody for the first time. And you know that that's going to be the last time that you ever speak to that person again. Like, you know what? Fuck you. Like, I know I'm never going to come back here again. So it's like saying hello and goodbye in the same breath. Because it's like, I'm never going to speak to you. I know I'm not going to talk to you. Fuck all of y'all. It's the first and last time y'all are ever going to get get in talk and get into contact with me. So use it up while you can because you ain't never going to see me again. Someone here thinks you're going to be returning. They don't understand that this is forever. Like, I said goodbye. That means I'm never coming back. Someone here thought they had more time with you. I feel like you keep on going. Okay, Scorpio. But that's what I got for y'all. Uh, these readings are kind of short. These aren't meant to be super long. But that's what I got. So do let me know if that resonates with you. Do let me know if that helps you in some way. Um, have an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye, Scorpio.